Hey guys, Ankit here. So as you know, uh, I have been using the Z Flip 3 for the past few days. And it's been now, I think, three or four days. So I have formed an initial impression about this device. And to be honest, my perception actually changed from the first couple of days over the next uh, couple of days. So the first couple of days, uh, I was, I think I was still getting used to the uh, you know all the uh, steps that I had to take to unlock the phone so it took uh, some time to get used to it but after I got used to it I think it sort of grew on me so it's still like I am still like getting accustomed to this uh, form factor but it is has been growing on me because to be honest in the first uh, couple of days I was even thinking of sending it back but now I am not thinking that because somehow I have allow, now uh, managed to like know how to unfold it with one hand. I still avoid it because you know I am scared about my nails digging into the screen. So I generally use two hands to lock and uh, fold unfold this. Uh, so I have been using it for the past four days and I think uh, I really like it. Now I don't like it as much as uh, my s21 ultra because i'm not going to replace my s21 ultra this i am shooting this video on it so but i have been using earlier the pixel 5 as my work phone to check my emails calling colleagues etc i am using my z flip 3 for that and of course browsing social media or in occasional youtube videos but uh, and i think it has held up pretty well so i know there were a lot of concern about the uh, battery life and in total honesty the battery life is mediocre at best but since i'm using not using this as my daily driver so i'm not this is not my only phone my main phone is the s21 ultra which i use for you know the uh, youtube videos netflix etc and that is a battery champ i mean one of the best out there so z flip 3 cannot compete with that but still if you are a moderate user and you are not on your phone the whole time you are only using it occasionally for some video watching or uh, social media then it will easily last you through a day i mean you can start your day at nine and end at eight and it will last you so of course if you don't like do two hours of gaming or three hours of watching a continuous movie then of course you will probably need to charge it but uh, i have not used it that heavily so uh, let me show you a couple of screenshots that I took. Uh, let me pull it up. Yep, if you can see my screen. So this was actually on the, I think the second charge. So as you can see the screen on time is 5 hour 2 minutes and the total usage is 15 hour 38 minutes. And my main was Twitter, Google Chrome, YouTube. Right. Uh, so I think that is good enough for one uh, day of usage or one normal day of usage and I have another one so this was actually the first charge cycle 9 hour 58 minutes if I can get it to focus yeah and screen on time of almost 5 hours so again Twitter reddit whatsapp so all in all a pretty decent battery life not uh, you know not competing with the flagships the iPhones or the s21 ultras but good enough to last you through a day and I actually quite like the form factor so it's a bit narrower than the flagships the s21 ultra and the iPhone so actually it's quite easy to handle and I don't feel the crease that much and I don't uh, I'm not bothered by it and uh, the way uh, you know the overall experience is actually quite good so yes, when you watch YouTube, you will get that giant black bars on the sides. But other than that, uh, I don't mind that because even in my S21 Ultra, I get the uh, side bars. So I overall, I like it quite a lot and I will probably not return it and I will keep it using as my uh, secondary phone. So if you are on the fence and want to, you know, uh, want to go uh, for the Z Flip 3, then I think you should because it is a fun phone and uh, it is like a 
you know the it has the flex factor when you are out with your friends colleagues uh, then when you pull this out people will of course start asking oh what is this uh, where do you get that so yeah it has that one and it's not only that it is actually quite functional so for a normal user this will work quite well but yeah of course if you want to uh, but for the same price i think you can get the s21 ultra now because it is on sale and of course it is a better phone than this without the folding uh, factor so it depends on you if you want to have that sort of a fun phone then you can go about this and it is also quite light it is around 40 grams lighter than the s21 ultra so that is also a plus point and cameras are decent i mean not at the level of s21 ultra but uh, it's pretty decent i don't think you will have anything to complain about so that was my quick video just to give you my initial impression and i really like the this folding and folding connects and it has held up pretty well and i will keep this uh, phone for now and of course the iphone 13 is coming up so let's see what they are planning to offer but uh, let's see if uh, they, they change my mind about returning this my z flip 3 or not so that is it guys so if you have any questions any queries comments please uh, write in the comments and please do like and subscribe my channel it will be a great help thank you